I would like to welcome Wallace Mayer to Country Music Social Media Sessions. It's very, well, it's fantastic to have you back. It's been a few months since I last spoke to you. Now, you're still in Australia at the moment, are you? Yeah, still in Australia, hell no. Um, so, yeah, so what's the score out there? You're still in lockdown or...? Um, well, we're we're in lockdown now. We've been uh, four weeks now. It's been threatening for a wee while, but um, we're certainly in lockdown now. Um, Melbourne, Sydney is is really bad. Canberra, where I am, um, the cases are going up and down. But that you know, we've got still had thirty today, so I think obviously it's going to going to kick off just any any time. No. Just needs to be never ending, doesn't it? Just when you think you're getting through it and then suddenly bang, it, it happens again. But uh, you just got to keep going, haven't we? That's the thing, I suppose. You just got to keep going. So I presume there's no no gigs, everything's been cancelled for now. Nah, there's no gigs, there's no nothing here. No. I had a really good um, warm up uh, for Ben Ransom and it was cancelled and I was gutted about that, you know. Um, uh, just country rocks and that were just not. It's just not happening here now. So no, no, it's very I just... better Yeah, it's very much so because you were doing so well as well, weren't you? It's, it's a tr- the thing is, I mean, we're the same over here. I mean, but they're just letting us out and doing everything. But our cases are, are high, as you probably know. Um, so uh, it's uh, the vaccine's working, which is good. Um, I had COVID recently, so uh, it's not very nice. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. it's not brilliant, but yeah. uh, I'm glad I was vaxxed, basically because I think I would have been a lot probably a lot worse if I hadn't been. So yeah, it's not it's not very pleasant and. Uh, um, my daughter had it as well, but she's 15 and um, unvaccinated. Of course, they're going out and just being teenagers, as they should be. But uh, and we are, we are gigging over here. So hopefully it will happen for you very, very soon and you won't be in lockdown for long. Because I know what it's like. It's horrible, especially because you're just dying to get out there. And it's like they dang- dangled the carrot in front of you, didn't they? And then you say you yeah. gig and then suddenly it's all cancelled again. So, uh, so what have you been doing with yourself? I've seen it. I've seen it with yourself, you know, obviously in... Social media, I've, I've, um, I obviously look out for you guys, and yeah, yeah, you, 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 have, you haven't had it easy, and I know you've been looking forward to gigging, and you're getting your, you're getting to gig more, more yes. often now, Helen, you, you and Grant, which is good, and um, I, I watched you uh, perform last week, and I thought you were absolutely wonderful, and um, oh, thank you. You know. It was nice to be out there, actually, and it was good to to be out there with sort of a group of group of us as well. It was nice, but your it, your turn will come, I'm sure. So, what have you been doing with yourself? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, in, in, in lockdown in general, I've just been I've just been doing my music. Um, I'm actually going to perform a couple of my songs tonight that I'm going to be putting on the new album, which will be starting to get recorded. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Um, hopefully, uh, sometime leading up to Christmas. Yes. Um, I'm hoping to get this album underway. I'm really excited about it. It's, I've got it. I've, I've got like five albums, and I've picked the uh, the cream of the crop, if you like. And yeah. um, I'm going to play, play a couple of them t- tonight for 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 you and the viewers. Brilliant. Would you like to do one now? Uh, so introduce, introduce, and tell us a bit about the first one, and you could do one now. That'd be great. Yes, the first one is um, is called Son of a Gun. Um, just a typical kind of love love hate scenario, and um, eventually the guy gets kicked out the door, and he, he still to this day doesn't know why. <laughs> okay, yeah. that sounds interesting. <laughs> Take it away, Wallace. I don't know why you're acting this way I'll do you a favor, now here's what I'll say It looks like you're done, so I will bid you good day It wasn't my intention, I thought we were okay You kick me out the door My heart is broke But I can't let you hate me anymore And as I hit the road 
tell me what have I done to wind up on my own feeling like a son of a gun I'm just a man I get things wrong but I can tell you I've loved you for so long but it looks like you're through so I will get myself gone This wasn't my intention I thought we were going strong And I can't help but love you As you kick me out the door My heart is broke But I can't let you hate me anymore up on my own feeling like a son of a gun to wind up on my own feeling like a son of a gun to wind up on my own feeling like a son of a gun fantastic i love that oh that's such a cool kind of bluesy number that isn't it it's um it's brilliant and uh so that's going to be on the new album that's coming up is it hopefully yeah this one's going to be in the, in the new album hell no um you got that bang on there that blues blues country um i've got a rough idea how they're going to sound once they're taken into the studio but um yeah i'm quite excited about all the material on this album so Oh, okay. I can't wait to hear it. So how far have you got so far with the writing process? Is it written, it's just waiting to be recorded, or you still got stuff to finish? Yeah, it's all written. Um, I've, I've, I've went through all the songs. I've written about five albums since I came to Australia, and I've just went through them all. And um, this is what this is what a penultimate um, decision to, to have this songs to go in. So I think there'll be probably 12 on the album. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. So are you allowed to go into studios yet or are you in complete lockdown? Or are you just... No, nah, we're in complete lockdown. So oh, gosh. It's not no. good. It's not, no, is you it? Know. Yeah. No, it's rubbish. I mean, I did, I did an album last year, which I had to record between lockdowns because we had three lockdowns over here last year. We had um, one in the beginning, obviously, when the pandemic started. Then they locked us down again in November. Um, we were let out on a sort of a reduced basis for Christmas and then we were locked down again in January. So I tried to record albums and songs in between and I never got, there was no consistency. That was the problem, I think. And uh, I mean, it did well and everything and it was great to get it done, but I felt like I had to rush it between lockdowns just to get it out. So um, yeah, well, hopefully you'll be able to um, get out there and, and record. How far have you got with the recording process? Have you got many to do? Um, there's... Everything's there, but I've, I've, I've just come out of the studio hell now where I did an EP. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I've made four videos with oh. it so far. Uh, the videos, they're, they're done, they've done great, you know. Um, but I, did, I also did a trance track. I thought, I think I just went a bit bananas when I came back from Scotland. <laughs> um, I, was, I, was, I was in quarantine in Sydney for two weeks and when I arrived here, you know, and I, I, I went straight into the studio and then um, I thought, let's just go bananas. And so we ended up making a trance track and all that and three completely different songs. So that's the, the album that, that, that's coming out next year. It's just totally country, country rock. So um, lots going to be happening on, on the songs and lots of big guitar solos and yeah. just a mixture of everything, you know. 
There's nothing wrong with experimenting with different sounds. I mean, if you, if you look on my iTunes stuff, I did some dance stuff uh, quite a few years ago. Um, I've done a couple of trance and dance tracks, and they were really good fun, and they, they did quite well. It was yeah. just nice, just like different to do, isn't it? Why not? Indeed, um, my roots will always be the sort of country folk side of things, but uh, I have experimented with other things as well, and it's uh, it's it's always interesting. And I see your name everywhere at the moment. You're always up for this award, or you're in a chart here and a chart there. So you're obviously doing yeah. something very, very right, which is uh, which is amazing. So what do you? What's your process for the um, whole sort of uh, promotion of what you do do you have like your own contacts well, I, know, I know Ken helps as well doesn't he um, and obviously it contributes to social media do you have a process or do you just get it as, to as many people as you can um, very much a process obviously Ken um, Ken Ken's great with us our artists at um, you know country music social media I also work with a very good um, promoter distributor in South Africa Oh, okay. Um, that um, gets the results here. No, it's, it's a download, a, a radio presenting. The radio presenters, if they like, like it, they'll download it. Yeah. And it gets into a chart. And, you know, there's lots of different charts now, nowadays, but you've got, you've got to get into the charts to get heard. Yeah. And there's, there's a thing, I don't know if you've heard of this, but the golden guitar. Have you been, yeah, I think I have heard of it, yeah, because I think I saw, someone else I know is in Australia posted about that before. Yeah, so you, you I, I hadn't heard of a golden guitar since I came to Australia, but obviously there's all sorts of different kinds of awards and stuff like that, but you, re you really have to be in all them to, 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 to keep going forward yeah. and get, get enthusiasm and, and kind of see where, where you are. In the music world, I mean, you, you've topped the charts in iTunes. That's massive. I managed a number three in iTunes. Wow, that's was, amazing. That's good. That's amazing. I was, I was amazed. I, I, I had no idea, hell no. Um, so hopefully my campaigning will get a bit better and I'll calm myself down a bit because uh, so you can't really do these things on your own. Not, not really. You, you, you need the support. You need friends, you need family, you know, yeah. all, all that. And if you haven't, if we haven't got that, then we're not going to chart. No. Um, and, you know, and then obviously the bigger, <clears throat> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, 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 we, we're, we're all doing as, as good as any, any other um, star that's in the music world as far as I'm concerned because we work yep. bloody hard. We do. I agree with you. And because they've got all they've got that we haven't got is a bigger platform and money. It's all it's financial, isn't it, as well? It's expensive to do this. It's not cheap. And you haven't got financial backup or sponsorship or things like that. It's hard. It's, it's hard to get your name out there. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's um, the last stages, like, like we, we're in between a rock and a hard place. And that that last jump is, is luck. And, yeah, you know, it's just it's just being in the right place at the right time, or you know, have, having that interest. Obviously, it's a, a lot of it in the music world is is, is not what you know, but who you know. And um, I think I think I think luck's a, a huge part in, in music. But like I say, hell no, it's it's good to be in this plateau. We're, yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all doing great as artists, and, and you know, we're getting here play. We're on television, so we, we should be delighted. What? what oh, that, so, you know? Absolutely. I mean, with it, especially now with social media, you, you have got a platform, haven't we? It may not be a big platform like someone like Miranda Lambert may have, but we've got a platform. And the best thing to do is just to get your name everywhere. It's just to make sure that people see Helena Mace, Wallace Mayer, they see the name everywhere. And people will eventually get curious whether and think, oh, OK, well, what's this about? And then as you do you just build up a fan base, I think. You can only rely on friends and family to a certain extent, I think. And then you've got to try and build up a fan base of people that don't know you. So you know, they're true fans. A hundred percent. I have started to notice uh, lately people that I don't really know and that, that, that love my music. And that, that, that to me is just... That's that's crazy because I've never really had that before. And when you get people that you don't really know, um, fans, I think they're called. Uh, it's it's huge. It's 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 an amazing it's an amazing it's, thing. Somebody you don't know says it says that they love your music. It's huge. 
that's exactly because you know they don't they're not just saying it to be nice you know that they're being completely you know unbiased and which is yeah. fantastic and uh and also you know that they'll buy the next one you've got out as well you know that's the thing where family may be feel obliged to do it or they do it because you know they they're your friends or family but these people are completely from nowhere that actually like what you do and they have no judgment uh, of you as a person or anything like that they like you because your music is good and that's what we want that's how what true fans are so uh, yeah keep getting your name out there because it does work eventually <laughs> Just doesn't yeah, seem like it sometimes. To, I'm going to take your advice, Nat Helner, because <laughs> um, I'm a fan of yours. I have been for a while, for over a year now, and um, it's great to know you personally as well in the music music industry and everybody else at Country Music Social Media. You know, it's oh, thank you. I'm, this is, that's, that's amazing. I'm hoping to go over here, and I'm hoping to go over and do one of the festivals with you. Yes, well, we're hoping to get one out next summer, uh, the country music social media. So, yeah, we'd definitely love to have you. So uh, keep in touch and let us know. And we'll let you know when we've got some sort of dates. But you're looking at summer, obviously. Um, and obviously, you know, things being well, then we're more or less definitely going to do it. So we'd love to have you on board, definitely. That'd be fantastic. So before we go, would you like to play out with one song for us and just tell us a bit about it? OK, this is another one that's going to go on the album. Um, it's called Little Old Me. Okay, take it away. Okay, that's a little old me. Okay. Why do I feel this way? I guess I'm talking to me. A man with no loving, that's all I'll ever be. I will be free, I just gotta let go, find my soul, I need to feel love, my real love set me free. sound it's just so so cool isn't it it's just understated it's cool yeah. and you're a fantastic yeah. um right songwriter anyway and guitarist so you are brilliant at what you do so uh yeah we're going to see your name out and about more i think i, I think no there's no doubt about it and it'd be lovely to get you down for the festival season because i think they'd love to have you i'm definitely going to make a point in being at that festival with you saying that I, um that's definitely on my on my oh, on my could you consider yourself booked. We'd love to have you. It'd be lovely for you to meet people as well, obviously, because you speak to everybody yeah. online. Um, and it's nice because it, we went up there, obviously, in July. Um, and uh, it was nice to meet everybody because I've obviously met Ken before. And the only other person I'd met was Taney. Um, and I hadn't met any of the others. So it was really nice to meet Stuart Rolf and Craig and uh, the, yeah. the Heart, Heart and the Roots band, who were amazing, by the way. Um, and it was just so lovely to just to meet everybody because they're so nice. It's a lovely little family. So we'd love to have you down and be part of it. So uh, you're part of it already, but we'd like to actually see you in person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel part of the family and I just can't wait. I just can't wait to meet you all. Oh, brilliant. We look forward to it. I really do look forward to it. 
You're welcome. Well, thank you very much for joining us all the way from Australia. I hope you get out of lockdown soon because I know it does absolutely sucks. But uh, I hope you're all keep. Well, the most important thing is that you all keep safe. Keep safe. Yeah. Keep yourself well and keep writing. Well, do hell no. <laughs> um, we'll speak again soon. You will do. Thanks very much for joining me, Wallace. Take care of yourself and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.